What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Bleach. Today we're doing episodes 45 through 48. Very excited to be, to be continuing Soul Society. Also very nervous, like always. Bleach is getting kind of crazy. I can see why people say the pacing is really kicking up. Remember, if you guys want early access up to 16 episodes, as well as the full uncut versions of these reactions, check out that Patreon. Links are down below, like always. Come on over to the Twitch. We're always watching these live with you guys. It's such a vibe, vibing out with chat, watching these live. Um, and if you guys wouldn't mind following me on all my other social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. I'm not going to waste any more time. Bleach, episodes 45 through 48. Let's do it. All right, this is right around where we left off. Ishida, already injured, runs into Tosin with the dope-ass title card. He says, I know I bear no ill will towards you, nor no hatred, whatever he says. He said some dope shit. And then he just immediately attacks. I bear no ill will. Suzumushi. Now I'm curious what Suzumushi does. I'm not gonna lie. I think I like Tosin's design one of the best. Because every time, especially for the Shikai, we've gone into that world, you know. I guess there have been moments we've materialized Zangetsu in our world, you know. Mm. And there he is. What up, Zangetsu? Even Yoruichi can talk to him. That's so interesting. He's really materialized. The way he's designed with the flowing cape and the flowing garments and hair the whole time looks like he should be like a vampire in like Castlevania or something, you know? Among all of them. Is this supposed to go off feeling? Intuition? Interesting. So Squad 4 is dealing with... Uh, I'm assuming it's Ganju and Chad. A little squad 13. This guy is really just journaling all his thoughts. And now we have Tosin. To admit another Ryoka, we got Ishida. Never did I think we would finally get back together in the hospital. Like, that's when all the people would be reconvene and re-meet up. There's so much going on right now between everyone getting admitted, some people getting defeated, some people training. Like, I genuinely thought this was going to be a squad-style arc, but there's, like, seven different storylines and plot threads going on right now. He's thinking about Rukia. You had the best intentions. I mean, you possibly could have, but... My man has had enough of being locked up he said we're busting out he used that fucking hockey in there what the hell this is kira i can't tell who the voice is again it is did they put him in a straight jacket There's so much going on right now. Yeah. We gotta do this for three days, at least until we find the right sword. That is so insane. <laughs> Zangetsu also has a personal investment in Ichigo's training. Obviously. What up, Ikaku? We haven't seen him since we landed. Oh, my boy Kenpachi is a okay. Thank the Lord. That's not a bad plan. 
My boy Kim Pachi's the GOAT. So we got Renji breaking out of prison. We got Gin visiting Kira. We got Kampachi waiting with Orihime. We got Ishida. We got Chad admitted. We got Ganju admitted. We got Hanataro getting like there's so much going on right now. Is that Ganju? Yeah. That's what I'm saying, David. I was not expecting it to be like this at all. The sea prism stone of bleach. Yeah, we still don't know the aftermath of him breaking the glove, removing it. That was a crazy shot. W Mans. W Mans. W Chad. Be patient, heal up, and get ready for the next fight. W Mans. Way to keep calm, cool, and collected. He's like, damn it, wrong sword again. 18 different swords. No, sir, it is not. It did look like the Zangetsu, though. God damn. Gotta find that piece of his, of his soul, of his heart, that's specifically for combat. We never got to find out what's going on with Hinamori as well. Like what the note said from Aizen who as to who did it. You mind revealing that for us, please? Nope. Okay, cool. Home. Um, okay, that's the end of the episode. All right, this is the next episode. This is episode 46. My boy Renji's busted out of prison. We got Kira busting out of prison. We got Hinamori knowing the secrets of all life and death. Still just... I, not telling me. Great title sequence. Now I assume this is a flashback. Who is Shiro? Is that younger brother? Is that Toshiro? Is that Hitsugaya? He was praying. Interesting. This is the formation of this class. So they're class one. This is class two. Ruki is in class two. Wow. I did not quite realize the beginning of their academy days. So, Ina Mori excelled from the beginning of her academic days, but so did Kira. Which would make sense as to why they somewhat became friends. Which would hit a little harder as to why Kira was going crazy that he raised his Zanpakuto against her, you know? There's so much going on in this arc from different characters, different motivations. Like, I'm genuinely trying to just maintain a bird's eye view on all of it, you know? He's like Seamus from Harry Potter. <laughs> Already getting attention. Renji, Renji gives me Yamcha vibes in the best way possible. I know Yamcha's like a meme these days, and people hate on him. I used to love me some Yamcha. The rivalry's still going at it. Good work. A cool little introduction. Nice little rivalry going between them. Come on, Renji. <laughs> you grew up in much different scenarios, so I understand it. Now what's going on over here? Being a, uh, uh, in school or being in the academy, seeing a captain would have been insane. Is this Aizen and Gen? This is her first time laying eyes on Aizen. She got shoved to the front. Is Gen a lieutenant at this point? Is that why he's not in his own white... Kimono, or I noticed the lieutenants only wear all black, you know. I love watermelon on a hot day. It's so crazy. This is their relationship, and he becomes a captain so soon, you know. I didn't realize her fondness of Aizen started that early on. This is a very 
Interesting, but well done flashback. Especially with everything going on right now. Isugi, he's another lieutenant. Just the one in the middle. People have been hyping him up like crazy. Before graduating. And he's got the 69 on his face. Whoa! Oh, he's Tosin's guy. Interesting. Tosin's already one of my favorite designs. Like I said, there's so much going on right now. I'm super invested. It's going to be Kira, Renji, and Hinamori. God damn. Yeah, just because it's training, you want to act like it's not, so you're much more ready for when the real deal happens. I respect that, you know? Especially when dealing with hollows. What the fuck? Now it seems weird for us to be fighting hollows, because now I'm just so used to fighting other fucking soul reapers you know like i thought we would only be fighting hollows for the show but <laughs> now it feels weird oh i love that shot i've always loved a swordsman coming down in the full moon always gives me demon slayer vibes but obviously we know where it came from first you know what i'm saying oh there's another one you guys aren't noticing Oh, they're actually, like, dead. Whoever this mystery hollow is is actually kind of putting in work. It's not another one. Is she, is she dead or is she good? I don't want her to be dead. I was gonna th it is huge. It's not another one of the Grande ones, right? I don't remember the name. Menos Grande? Is that like a specific thing? Because this could just be a big hollow, right? Oh my god. And is dealing with Hisagi. Good dodges, my man. Oh, hell no. Shout out Renji, Kira, and Hinamori. You know, they're not just going to let you die. So overlook this, okay? Don't get us in trouble. A combined Hado, I love it. Now's their chance to get away. Good teamwork. Oh. This was supposed to be training and practice with, with Hollow dummies, and we just have the Akatsuki of the Hollows here. What the hell is going on? I would be Kira right now. The music always hits in this show. Is the captain going to pull up? Someone's got to save them. Ooh. With the fucking extendo sword? This Aizen? I have goosebumps right now. Makes much more sense why Hinamori with Ichimaru. Ichimaru was the one who did that. That makes much more sense. We know he's got the Extendo Sword. Hinamori and Aizen's relationship is making more and more sense by the minute. Just the shish kebab of hollows. God damn. It makes sense why Gin was able to become a captain. And also why Aizen is a captain. Look at him. And that even makes their in relationship more interesting. That Gin was Aizen's lieutenant and is my number one suspect for killing him. Or they're going against like, this is so crazy. This story's got some depth to it. Okay, Bleach. That was a great transition back into the prison cell with Hinamori looking out, I'm assuming. That was a great train. That was a great little flashback right there. I won't lie to you. Oh, 
Hinamori is standing on business now. He's about that action. He said, I just got reminded of how much I like Aizen, and I'm not letting shit slide like, oh, hell no. Nah. nah, it's just getting crazy. All right, this is right where we left off. Hinamori's over here busting out of prison. Oh, she's crying. Oh, it's got to be a deep cut. I need to know more answers, man. Is this Gin meeting Rangiku? What? Bro, so many people have such deep connections. God, she is beautiful. Yeah, there's a lot of... This is on some Game of Thrones level shit where we don't know who did it. Everyone's friends with other people. There's alliances. There's, you know, previous relationships. I guess it goes in crazy. I've all broken out of prison. As a key, I mean, it makes sense based off what we saw last episode. Yeah, with those handcuffs. The sea prism stone. Inamori is standing on business right now. She does not care. She's the only one who knows the truth, you know? The letter you gave her, Rangiku. And now knowing about how Hinamori grew up with Toshiro and how their relationship, like, there's so much depth that got added to this arc. It's actually blowing my butt cheeks away, you know? Don't do anything rash. Like, oh, this is getting crazy. And we still have... Oh, bro. This arc is fire. 51 swords. But he's just going to go through every sword there is. There goes 52. Before the sword even has time to land. That's how fast they're going right now. Shout out Kisuke. Someone's talking about you. Gotta sneeze. You're not lying there. <laughs> it's such a cliche, but... Yeah, my sense of time would definitely be messed up as well. Ooh, the healing properties. I wonder if it's this area, the hot springs. Come on in, girly. The water's just fine. Mm. It upsets me. It more than a little i'm i'll be completely honest with you oh me yep she might as well be talking to me legit legitimately that place was modeled after this one makes sense he dug that out Oh, see, now I need to get a whole flashback of you guys as children. I got time. Go ahead, tell me the story. Damn. Yeah, I need to know more about Kisuke and about you. Oh, my lord, Yoruishi. Yeah, why did he leave being a soul reaper? Previous captain of squad 12. So Kurotsuchi took over his position, essentially. Interesting. So now we got Hitsugaya confronting Gin and Kira. I need to know everything that's going on with Gin. Like, finding out that he was Aizen's previous lieutenant. What's uh, what's going on? That seems obvious. I'm glad you got here before she did, too. Talk your shit. Oh, speak of the devil. Oh, no. 
Oh, this is getting real. Wait, are we saying Hitsugaya is the one? But he's... That's like the execution machine, right? Huh? Get crucified? And he wrote Toshiro Hitsugaya? That would be the last thing I would expect. But if I should die, no, it's him. Please carry on for me and... I don't want to assume Aizen's wrong, but I just... I guess I did not see this coming from Hitsugaya. That's kind of a bar. Not even as just captain, but as a man. I got goosebumps right now. So how does Gin and Kira play into this? That's a fair rebuttal. Aizen would try to keep you out of it as much as possible. Hmm. But like I said, I don't think he would just frame you. I don't I don't think he'd be wrong. And I think Rangiku had full well intentions giving it to Hinamori. I don't think she has anything. Like, what the hell is going on? Especially after the flashback a couple of episodes ago, I feel I feel so bad for Hinamori. Calls him Shiro again. Did Gin forge it, knowing Rangiku would be cool with Hinamori and give it to her? That's like some Game of Thrones level plotting, if it is. Little finger looking ass. Bro, what are we supposed to do? Okay, he just fucking knocks her out real quick with the quick backhand. He's like, I don't want to have to do that, but we got to deal with the elephant in the room. From the very beginning, I didn't think guy had any, like, foul play in this, you know? He God damn. Oh, shit's about to get real. <laughs> I wanted to see Hitsugaya fight from the moment I... Oh, God damn it. All right. Bleach 48. Dope-ass title card. Right where we left off. If I was Kira, I'd be like, um, I'm going to go take cover over there. You guys seem like you're about to blow this area up. Yeah, stay back. Ichimaru said it for me. Tokyo shit, Hitsugaya? Oh, they're really going at it. And this is before they release their Zanpak, though. Ooh. Oh my god, that was elegantly dodged and counterattacked. Oh my god, they're going in. I love the way they display, like, captain's level auras. Like, it, it looks fire. And then Ichimaru's about to hit his. <laughs> Round two, here we go. That was an opening. He has like a crescent kind of ball and chain at the end of his sword. What the hell? You'll regret to the fullest extent. It's kind of a bar. Fuck your shit, Hitsugaya. 
Okay, Giyu. Man's can accessing his domain expansion. Rain over the frosted heavens with the ice sword, the ice dragon. Kyorin Maru. I love how it's a mix between water and ice. Ultimate water ice on Pakto. Interesting. Shout out Hyorn Maru. Kind of even looks like Toby Rama when you think about it. This is why he said you got a dip, Kira. You are getting caught in the side shit. He has the Extendo Sword. Did he just absorb that? That was well played to get his arm frozen. Ooh, through his kimono is very smart. That's dirty. Ran Giku. Oh my god. Oh, this is getting real deal. Now we're back to Yoruichi, I assume. Oh my god, this woman is gorgeous. Now it's time to resume day two of training. Yep. It's a good question. I want to see Ichigo's Bankai so bad. That sounded sus. Yoruichi is going in depth with this level of thinking. I like it. And what would that risk be? There's so much shit going on in this arc. We haven't seen Rukia in episodes. Bro, every time we think we have a one up, they always. Oh, so how? Like, we're training. We just need two more. Give us three days. Us... This is horseshit, man. They keep hoeing us. Yes, yeah, Yemka, they said it takes 10 years. Yeah, I'm curious about that as well. There's so much going on during this arc, it's not even funny. Yeah, that is a crazy thing to think about. The Sokyako and fucking, yeah. And with Rukia's execution getting moved up again, they're going to get the message. I do like the hell butterflies send messages and stuff like that. Itsugaya is going to think this is crazy with the info that he just got, you know? This shit is getting crazy. There's so much shit going on. How are we going to save Rukia? What are we going to do about this goddamn execution? Is Ichigo going to get his Bankai? Still got Chad, Orihime, Ishida, and Ganju in prison. Still got Hanataro. Is that Renji? Is Renji going to meet us in our training area? Is he tracking us? Ominous, huh? As the ceiling busts out, and uh, I'm assuming it's going to be Renji. Yes, indeedy. That boy, Mr. Aburai. Yeah, Yoruichi's going to find out about the date change right now. Twenty nine hours from now, noon tomorrow. 
Yeah, I got faith in you. I don't think, you know, we're kind of, we kind of squashed our beef, you know? I'm very close to attaining Bunkai. We have seen his Zabimaru, like, in materialized form. The, the baboon with the snake tail. I'm just going to do my own thing. Nah, I'm going to do my own thing. Now I want to see Renji's Bankai too. Pause. Also, good point. He said he doesn't want to hear what happens if he fails, because that's just not even an option. If tomorrow's a deadline, that's when we're making it. Okay. Talk your shit. That's what I was saying. His spiritual energy is much more than any of us know. He just always draws it out when he needs to at the moment, you know? Boy's got a deep well he can dig out of, you know what I'm saying? Kayan is uh, Ganju's brother, right? I need to know the details about that too, man. I keep getting teased. Well, these episodes were fantastic. I'm loving Bleach. I'm loving the way that it seems like such a big world. There's like 142 different names I can get. There's 17 names for every location, the devices they use, the techniques they use to maintain those devices. Even though the world feels so big, it's still so small at the same time. Like everyone, especially in such a tight-knit Soul Reaper community, knew each other as kids but it's not whereas like it's like a my hero style where everyone knows everyone it's like no rangiku's close to ichimaru uh, ichimaru was close to aizen aizen's close to hinamori hinamori's close to kira and and hitsugaya they're close to renji who's close to rukia who's now like it's very realistic with relationships like that like i have friends who are friends of my friends that i only know because you know what i'm saying so it's very interesting i thoroughly enjoy that I don't know what's going to happen with Hitsugaya and stopping the plan of the execution with the Sokyoko and everything like that. That is the power of a million. Like, it's like, shit's getting crazy. We have all that. Meanwhile, all our main squad is captured. And then we have Ichigo training with Renji doing the Kisuke train. It's like, there's so much going on right now. It's not even funny. All I know is that the hype for Soul Society has been not lied about like it's been deservedly hyped if that makes sense um i'm loving this arc i'm loving everything about it the characters the music the writing the twists the powers the fighting yeah um i cannot wait for more hopefully you guys enjoyed these episodes if you did please leave a like on this check out the patreon for the full uncuts as well as early access uh come on over to the twitch we always watch this live it's always a vibe and don't forget to drink some water, tell someone you love them, because you never know when a hollow might come after them. Have a great day, Dabber Squad. Peace out.